Hey guys. So what I have here is that Windows 98 VM I installed last week from the video when I did the Windows 98 on a floppy disk installation. So what I'm going to attempt is to upgrade Windows 98 first edition to second edition. So to verify this is first edition, I'm going to show you the build number. 4.10.1998 So with that being said, as you may notice on the floppy disk installation of Windows 98, you may notice it's like it's kind of like a stripped down version of Windows 98 due to uh, storage constraints with putting all the Windows 98 files on the floppy disk to save the amount of be like I guess instead of using way too many floppy disk Microsoft did a um, decide to strip down to your your typical Windows 98 installation for a from the CD installation to the so they could be able to fit it on the floppy disk for computers that are they don't come with floppy with CD drives so let's say if you install a CD drive and you want to upgrade to 98 second edition. So but first order of business, since I didn't get have that when I didn't I never copied the CAV files from the first edition. So if you going to plan on upgrading to second edition, so what I did was I created an op, a folder called options right here. I made another one called CAV so we can copy all the CAV files from the Windows 98 disk over to the Windows not to the to the hard drive. Even though I can't my tongue gets twisted, sorry about that. So So let's do the Windows 98 first edition, the second edition upgrade. To, because, well actually Microsoft released a special upgrade for those of you who don't know that if you had 98 first edition and you wanted to upgrade the second edition it was called the 98 second edition updates which is basically upgrading Windows 98 first edition to second edition while the regular second edition in place upgrade was for people with Windows 3.1 and Windows 95 so let's open up the CD-ROM Yes. And let's go to continue, of course. And we're going to go ahead and accept the license agreement. And let me enter the product key and I'll be right back. Alright, so it's preparing the directory. So we're not going to save the setup files. Because it's not like we really need them, and I don't really care. It's a virtual machine. We're going to select our country, the United States, of course. Don't want to do a startup disk. We'll scamp into that. And we'll click next. It's going to do the file copying and and I'll be right back. Our license was done file copying, so we can go ahead and reboot. So we can do some of the final touches of setup.
we should be detecting all the drivers and hardware that well it's actually it should be detecting all the drivers that's installed on this virtual machine restart hopefully we got to restart one more time after it configures everything in the installation part Still setting up hardware, so we're probably gonna have to give it some time. Because it's still detecting our virtual machine's hardware. So hopefully, it'll set up the programs and all that good stuff. So we're probably gonna might make a few little changes after the installation and you want to keep in mind that when you do an in-place upgrade it's going to retain all of your personal settings so we may not get the default Windows 98 startup sound so if we change to have the startup sound to change something different so you want to keep that in mind officially booting into Windows 98 second edition since we upgraded from first edition to second edition. still kept our um, username and password Once I get better at using 86 box and know my way around it, I'll definitely find a way to fix the laggy issue.
we're going to go into our system set and show up. So for the default sounds, it's as you can see it. It fixed that little issue where it was set to CT melody, so we put it back to the Microsoft sound, which. Another thing when you're upgrading from Windows 98 second edition, when you're upgrading from first edition to second edition, or from Windows 95 to 98, it doesn't give you the option to allow you to install components when you're doing an in-place upgrade. So you can always go to Add Remove Programs and click the Windows Setup tab and install whatever components that you wanted to install. So let's take a look at accessories. So we can get the games. And we'll get the mouse pointers. And we'll get the quick view just for the heck of it. And we'll get desktop themes. I ain't gonna worry about internet tools. Get the multimedia sound team and sample sounds. And the rest we ain't gonna be too really too worried about. Simply click apply and to get around that all we're going to do is type in a, a new directory see windows options cab so it'll go to that directory And when you install 98 second edition, it will replace Internet Explorer 4 with Internet Explorer Because the only downside is when you install Windows 98 from from the floppy disk from the floppy disk installation media, it doesn't give you all the all the components that if you want like the games and the themes and all the all the well let's just say all the goodies to make Windows 98 get that have that great experience have that great Windows 98 experience. Or if you want to do plus 98, I would enable desktop themes so we can be able to have all the themes. So we'll have get all the built-in themes. So let's refresh control panel. Close out of that. There you have it, you got desktop themes. So we can make sure everything's installed, all the components. So let's check our sample sounds. I know it's going to So, yep, yeah, we got all our. MIDI files and all of our sound schemes as well as I should have our games.
and that's a big win. Because when, when the floppy installed all the rest that that I can that I was fully able, what I was able to install so and the verified is this is second edition and we're going to open up system properties. So yeah, and there you have it. That's how you upgrade Windows 98 first edition into second edition. Hope you guys find this video interesting and helpful. And thanks for watching.